This is a demonstration of how to use the Inhydrate Visual Modeler to import an existing database into a model and then synchronize later database changes into that model. I'm going to start by creating a console application. This will just hold the model. We'll just call it first model. Now I have a blank console application pretty much. So I'm going to add an Inhydrate model. You choose new item and it will just be in the list of new items that you can choose. I'm going to name it first model. Now I have a blank canvas. Now you can actually from the toolbox start adding model objects to it like entities, stored procedures, views, or functions. Or you can import an existing database and start your model off that way, which is probably more common if you already have a database structure. So everything is addressable by the right click menu. So I can right click on the canvas, anywhere on the blank canvas, choose the model menu and import a database. I'll just choose my local server. And I'll specify database name test my connection and press next. This will look familiar as it is very similar to the uh, out of the box entity framework import wizard. You have an add, refresh and delete tab for items that you can perform those functions on. So the refresh and delete are empty because I have a blank model and there's nothing to refresh or delete. However the add has all the tables inside of that database that I just chose. I'm just going to import two tables at the moment the customer and the order and then I get a summary screen. I press finish and there is my two tables on my model now. From here I can verify and generate my model. So on the right menu, right click menu, I can say model verify and it says the company is the wrong format. Now the namespace of the generated uh, assemblies are determined by the company and the project name. So I'll just come up to company name. Company name. Just choose Acme. And the project name. I'll just call first model. Now I verify again. And there's no errors. Notice that the basic error window of Visual Studio is where all the errors are uh, dumped and on everything else is integrated fully within the Visual Studio IDE. Now I'll just stretch this up so you can see the other projects being created. Right click on the canvas again, model, generate, and here are all the templates that I have installed. Right now we're just going to do the entity framework data access layer, the associated interfaces with that layer, and the database installer that will actually keep your database and your generated code in synchronization as you make model changes. You see the new projects being created. Just put all this up. And I'll just go ahead and right click on the Entity Framework Data Access layer and set its dependency. I just want to make sure that it's built in the proper order. So I'll just make sure the interfaces are a dependency of the Entity Framework Data Access layer. Now if I build, everything builds successfully. Now this is a fully functional entity framework data access layer now. You can create context, interact with your database, there's nothing else really left to do. Now some people like to interact with the database directly. So I have a database here that I'm going to re-import. So I'm going to open the category table and add field 1 int nullable. I save this now this, this represents database changes. Now I come back to my model. I can right click on the customer and choose model, refresh from database. Uh, that, it saves my connection string from last time. It pre-selects pre customer and then I can press finish. And now you'll notice field one is already there. And now my model is ready to regenerate again. So you can iterate synchronize are going from back from the database to the model and model to the database and that's how you can keep those two in sync if people wish to change the database or the model.